Thank you so very much, Jesse. Half a day and many of God's blessings. Good afternoon. Welcome to your Guam Congress building. We are here the third, with the 36th Guam Legislature, and I'm so humbled to be here with uh, a lot of VIPs, uh, which I think all the consumers and all the staff members who literally help make the efforts of Guma Mami and what they need to do for our consumers, I think you guys are all the VIPs. So before I even start, I just want to say congratulations and give you guys a round of applause. Yay! Viva Guma Mami! Viva Guma Mami! Viva Guma Mami! I, I'm so humble, uh, humble, ladies and gentlemen, to be here with my colleague, Senator Joanne Brown. Thank you so much for being here and so many important people. Uh, I, I see uh, Ms. Phyllis uh, Leon Guerrero from DISID. I see uh, Mr. Jermaine Alerta from uh, the DD Council. I see our board members that are here, Lou. I see Mich uh, Michelle from Cedars. Am I saying that right? Of course, I have Guma Mami. I have the chairman and the executive director, Mayor Robert Hoffman and Sam Elisagam. I said that right. And then I have uh, the public guardian, Senator, um, I mean, I already called her Senator like her brother, Attorney uh, Marcy Santos, but also a board member, uh, Renata Verdalio, and then of course, uh, one of our very good partners, uh, Executive Director uh, uh, Taitano from Manetlu. Am I saying that right? Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, we are all here to um, present Resolution number 67-36-COR, as introduced by myself, Senator Joanne Brown, and of course, all the members of the 36th Guam Legislature, uh, especially the leadership, Speaker uh, Terlahi, uh, and Legislative Secretary um, uh, Amanda Shelton, and Minority Leader Chris Duenas, and again, all the members of the 36th Guam Legislature. And this is relative to recognizing and congratulating Guma Mommy Inc. for its 40 years of service and commending them for their dedication to providing invaluable and vital services, support and advocacy to individuals with disability on the island of Guam. And normally, ladies and gentlemen, we usually just do a summary about it, but I thought it was really important that the people of Guam and the listening audience from all around the world get to hear this live. So I'm going to read the resolution because it's that important. Be it resolved that the Committee of Rules of Imina Trentai Sais and Les Latouran Guan, where has since its establishment in 1981, Guma Mami has been servicing and supporting the needs of individuals with disabilities on Guam, and this year marks the 40th year anniversary as a nonprofit organization that has served as a cornerstone of our island's individuals with disabilities and with its assistance and its ultimately provided opportunities for care, training, and development on Guam. And Guma Mami has been an advocate for rendering better services to those in our community with disabilities by further aiding them through its vital services of support groups, home care, and numerous activities, programs, and activity programs in 2009. Guma Mami was established and still operates the Hinanalta Our Journey program at the independent group home to provide 24-hour residential and supportive services in a family living environment where adults with disabilities share a home in the community under the supervision of caring staff. The home provides housing and supportive services to adults with co-occurring disabilities with serious mental illness and mild to moderate intellectual disabilities with a focus on promoting recovery, greater levels of wellness and self-sufficiency. Guma Mami also operates the Mary Claire Home Program, uh, a 24-hour level two residential and support services program that offers a recovery-orientated approach for adults with severe mental illnesses and other disabilities to transition into homes of their own. And Senator Brown, can you help me read this? You can do that. It's a big print. 
Rare, since 2017, with funding from the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center, Guma Mami has operated the Sagan Mami program, providing an enrichment center, a drop-in center, peer support mentorship, and supported employment services for individuals with mental illness who are homeless or at risk of being homeless. In addition to this, Guma Mami, with funding from the Guam Housing and Urban Renewal Authority through the U.S. Housing and Urban Development Continuum of Care Grant, operates a transitional and rapid rehousing program entitled Inazik? Inazik? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Hopefully I've passed my Chamorro class. <laughs> I don't think Dr. Ruggin would be happy with me. Inazik program for individuals with disabilities who are experiencing domestic violence. And whereas in 2020, Guma Mami received funding from the Guam Coalition Against Sexual Assault through the U.S. Department of Justice, Office of Violence Against Women, OVW, Sexual Assault Services Program for Formula Grant to implement and operate project at Tubola. At Tubola? Mm -hmm. To provide advocacy, outreach, and referral services to victims of sexual assault with disabilities, as well as victims of human trafficking, who are also victims of sexual assault with disabilities. At the national level, Guma Mami is recognized in the United States Congressional Record, Proceedings and Debates of the 107th Congress, Washington, D.C., as an organization that provides positive and proactive impact in the lives of persons with disabilities through community involvement, service excellence, and advocacy efforts. And whereas Guma Mami has also received funding from the Guam Economic Development Authority and its qualifying certificate contributors, the Guam Regional Medical City and TNN Guam, ADA Sabuki Towers, to establish a project entitled Project Access to ensure continuity of its services and support in community during the COVID-19 pandemic through the provision of online support and visual platforms to sustain behavioral health services, to increase virtual training opportunities that build the capacity of care workers to provide mental health support and to improve and enhance family and natural support networks. And whereas these programs provide invaluable opportunities to educate the community on the strengths and abilities of individuals with disabilities and family members in our community, and to facilitate the ongoing process for the promotion of excellence and quality care. In addition, these programs showcase the organization's dedication and commitment to serving and support, supporting individuals with disabilities, highlight the organization's ability to serve as a leader in the forefront of progressive social change in the fields of disabilities, and allow the community to show its gratitude for Guma Mami's dedicated efforts in advocating and improving the services for individuals with disabilities. Now, therefore, be it. Be it resolved, the, co the Committee on Rules of Imina Trentai Sais na Les Latudan Guahan does hereby, on behalf of Les Latudan Guahan and her people of Guam, recognize and congratulate Guma Mami Inc. for its 40 years of service and commend them on their dedication to providing invaluable and virtual service services, support, and advocacy to individuals with disabilities on the island of Guam, and be it further resolved that the speaker and the chairperson on the Committee on Rules certify and that the legislative secretary attest to the adoption whereof, and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to Guma Mami Inc. and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero, Imagalahan Guahan. Ladies and gentlemen, this was signed and sealed in the city of Agatnya on the third day of May 2021. It was signed by our speaker, Speaker Therese Terlahi, myself as chairperson on the Committee of Rules, Vice Speaker Tina Rose Munya Barnes, and our legislative secretary, Secretary Senator Amanda Shelton. So it's with great honor that I present this resolution uh, to our the chairman of Guma Mami, but I will note that, Mr. Chairman, before I do it, I have to say an extra thank you to a lady who who's always has been with me decades ago, two or three decades ago, we're working at DISID and still a part of this, and I just want to say thank you for always making sure that I do it right and making sure everybody's there. Mr. Chairman, please accept this on behalf of uh, e Les Latour and Guahan, and of course our people of Guam on a job well done, and thank you for always advocating. And I'd like to yield the mic to you to say a few words, and anybody here on the panel who would love to thank do you. it. So please. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank the legislature for recognizing Guma Mami. I think uh, when you just look back, um, Guma Mami's played an integral role 
and you can't really think of any type of services anywhere else other than what Gumamami provides. And so I really want to thank the legislature for being champions when it comes to funding them and you're seeing them and the requests that have come down. Um, I really wish there was always more attention paid to individuals with disabilities. Um, we all know someone, we all have family members, and so to celebrate this 40-year milestone is amazing. So imagine 40 years of caring, 40 years of advocacy, 40 years of just being there. 16 of those years, I was with you. I've been in Gumamami Board for 16 years as your landlord and whatever else. But every single time I have an opportunity to advocate for you, when Sam calls me, Jaira, anything like that, that's the most important thing I cherish in being in my office is you're right next door. You'll always be a part of Sinahanya. You'll always be a part of our home. But you're, you're amazing at what you're doing. The staff at Gumamami, I'm, God bless you. God bless you for all that you're doing there because you guys, hats off to you. Not only do you care for your families at home, but you also care for these individuals like they're a family member to you as well. And it just touches my heart. And every time Sam asks me for something, I'm like, whatever you need, Sam, we'll figure it out, we'll get it done. And to the Gumamami management and staff, thank you so much for being great neighbors and for really being very strong partners in this fight and this effort. You know, I wish we didn't have to have so many different, I wish we could have that streamline and everybody just working together and we had job opportunities for all of you. That's something I know that we all want. We want you to succeed and grow and dream because I think you know everyone deserves to have a nice dream and to make that dream come true. So I see some of my classmates who are consumers and that's just, you know, it's why I'm here also and so I can continue to be here. So congratulations on 40 years. It's an amazing accomplishment. We look forward to the 50th year. <laughs> I'll still be there, <laughs> hopefully, and hopefully all the rest of you as well. So Sam, thank you, and to the, my fellow board members, amazing work, and thank you for also just responding on those emails. I know we have a lot of reading to do. It's one of the things about Gumamami. I've never read so much until I got to Gumamami's board. <laughs> But to understand what goes on and with the agencies, DISID and behavioral health and uh, um, what's mental health now? Guam behavioral. Guam behavioral Health. And they, they just do amazing work and, and, and partnerships there. And a big shout out to DOA for always processing those checks on time. I'm, I get scared when they tell us you're not going to get paid. But I love that you guys get paid to do what you need to do there. And we, I hope we treat you well. So thank you so much. Executive Director Sam, please. All right, good afternoon. We are 40. Yes. Yeah, so uh, first I want to uh, pay my respect to uh, uh, the vice speaker, uh, Tina Munia Parnes, for uh, uh, doing our resolution and uh, also being on our board. And of course, our uh, friend and Senator uh, Brown. Uh, and, and, and the legislature, thank you guys for having us uh, uh, in your house. Um, but uh, uh, 40 years, uh, we've, uh, and, uh, for, for some of us, if 40 years seems like it's in a short time, right? For some of us, 40 years sounds like a very long period of time. And if, uh, if you are on the board, and if, if you've been on the board for almost 20 years, Probably sounds like it's a very short period of time, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, first I want to thank our board uh, for uh, their support and their guidance uh, for the last uh, uh, few years. Uh, thank us and uh, the, the recipients of our services uh, and their families. Uh, well, everything that we do uh, with the, uh, for, the la uh, for the last four years is, of course, for the benefit of uh, uh, the consumers and their, and their families. So, We've, uh, uh, we've been blessed uh, to, to work with them, and uh, we'll always continue to uh, do to our uh, best and uh, our, our best to, to provide the best care for, uh, for them and their families. Uh, I just want to uh, uh, say something about uh, the resolution. We, uh, uh, I thank you uh, uh, to your staff for working on the resolution, and when they first uh, sent me the draft, uh, it was a couple of uh, pages long, and we kind of worked to cut that down. So uh, the, the, uh, what we have now is just kind of like a focus on some of our current programs, right? But I also want to say that 
throughout the last uh, 40 years, we've had a lot of programs. That, that, and, uh, some were short terms, uh, some we ran for a, uh, for a long period of time, and we had to uh, uh, kind of move on to other things. And uh, one of the things that you would uh, notice about the resolution is it mentions all the different uh, funding agencies. And the reason why I wanted to leave, at first I wanted to take it out, but then I decided to leave it in there because I wanted to pay respect to the partnership that we have with, uh, with the different agencies that we work with. So if you look up here, all of the people that are representing the different agencies are our partners. Some are not here um, with us, but we still continue to, to work with them. Uh, the programs that were mentioned in the resolutions are some of the current programs that we have now. Um, we have some that are in the making, and I didn't feel comfortable to put them in here because we haven't really launched them yet. But again, our, our service is always evolving, right? Depending on the, uh, on the needs uh, that, uh, that we see out there and depending on the resources that we, that we have to provide the service as an, uh, uh, for, uh, for, for the community. So again, by, um, my hope with the resolution was that it highlights the, the collaboration that we have with the different partners and the different supporters that we have to accomplish our mission, right? Guamami was created four years ago for a single reason, right? And that's to provide services for individuals with disabilities. Four years now, that need is still there, right? That mission is not accomplished yet. The work still needs to be done. And that's a challenge for, for us, not only for us as, as an organization, but for us as a uh, collaborative, collaborative partners with the different supporters and partners that we have. So after we're celebrating uh, uh, 40 years, we, we've, we're celebrating the accomplish accomplishments that we've had, we still have a long way to go. And, uh, and for some of us, uh, then, uh, uh, we, we see it as a, as a need, right? It's, it's, a, it's a need that needs to, be, needs to be done, because it's a need of our community, and that's what we're here for. Uh, we, we have, uh, we've benefited from uh, supports of different uh, individuals, organizations, and, uh, and, uh, and donors uh, that are, it's going to take up the whole day to read all the names, but I just want to say thank you to, uh, to everyone, to anyone who has contributed and has donated to our mission at GoMami. Thank you. This, today, is a celebration for you. It's a celebration for all the work that we do together. As, as a community. So again, thank you. Viva go mommy. Viva. See <laughs> Julius Masi, uh, Mr. Director, and at this time, I'd be remiss if I didn't take the opportunity to, to open the, the, the mic to our uh, partners. Uh, that work closely with Goma Mami. I see DD Council, I see DISIT, I see Cedar. I see uh, our public guardian, I see our nonprofit Manetlu, and I'd like to open the mic for you, at least to say a few words, because we truly are celebrating 40 years and 40 years of hard work to our community, a Guma Mami, who does excellent work. So please, if I may. Jermaine? Jermaine? <laughs> well, I do want to say congratulations to Guma Mami for 40 great years. Um, and uh, on behalf of the DD Council, we congratulate each and every one of you. We work very closely with you guys. We've, I've visited your, um, your, your, your areas, and we've worked on projects most recently, the poetry premiere. And I'm so proud that there are many participants who are here. So on behalf of the DD Council, I really appreciate the work you're doing, Sam, and all your great staff. And, um, you know, just encouraging self-advocacy among people with disabilities to be out there in the community, to present their capabilities, their abilities, and to showcase that everyone has worth. And, you know, being role models for your peers. Uh, and I want to thank the legislature for their support. Of course, the board for just the programs that, that you guys put forth in the community. Because 40 years is nothing, you know, it's, it's no easy feat to be helping in the community, being deep in the community for that, that long of a time. And, and it's, it's the staff, it's the, it's, the, it's the consumers, and it's each and every one of you who are pushing along every single day to um, create better lives for yourselves. And 
just be um, great examples for the community. So again, congratulations to Guma Mami and we're looking for 40 more years, 40 more strong years. Congratulations, everyone. This is it. That's a far, far uh, to follow there, Jermaine. Anyway, um, again, congratulations, Guma Mami. We're so proud of you to get those 40 years. I had an opportunity when I first got on board to meet Sam and Monica. They've been very supportive. And like Sam said, there's a lot of work still to be done. And that's why we're here together. So I, I appreciate every time I call you, email you, you're there to support me for questions and concerns that I have that we can move forward with this as we collaborate together. So thank you so much and congratulations. Cedars, Mitch. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It's nice to see all of you this afternoon. In spite of our challenging times, we're slowly opening up and getting together. So this is a great time to be together and celebrate the 40 years of Gumat Mami. So when we received the email this morning, um, or actually, Leia sent it. I said, Lay, we got to go because Mr. Sam supports us a lot. He's in our Akuti loan program. So if you need money, make sure you connect with Mr. Sam here because <laughs> there's extra funding. Um, but like what Mr. Sam had shared, uh, it's all about partnerships, you know, working with our legal team. Um, and you see all the overlaps of everybody just working together from our public guardian, our senators, our mayor's office who distribute, you know, many of the meals, right, to our individuals with disabilities and the families, the legislature for their hopefully bottomless pit of <laughs> monies to, uh, <laughs> to send our way. And then we have Mr. Jermaine Alerta um, and Ms. Phyllis for the jobs and other services. Uh, so right now we, at Cedars, we work hand in hand with many of the partners. Um, we want to make sure that we're not operating in silos, like individually. You know, we want to make sure that we're all operating together so that we're not wasting funds, right? And we're all providing a great service. So 40 years is certainly an accomplishment. I mean, it's hard to stay afloat for 40 years, and that's because of all the good work of everybody in the room. So Biba Gumat Mami. Biba. Thank you so much, Michelle. To our public guardian. Just a few words. Very <laughs> well, um, the public guardian certainly appreciates Guma Mami in providing housing and care for our wards. The folks here are all wards of the Office of the Public Guardian, and we appreciate your work for the past few years and for the past 40 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Attorney. And to our partner, Manelu, please, a few words, if you may. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so congratulations, Guma Mami, on 40 years for all of the advocacy and the programs that you guys have um, done throughout this, all, this whole time and the ones that you guys are looking forward to. Um, like kind of how everyone's saying, uh, you know, the nonprofit world here on Guam is so tightly knit and uh, <laughs> Sam and I serve on several boards together. Um, so, it, you know, it's just congratulations, Gumami, congratulations to all of you, all of the partners, all of those who continue to support and donate throughout the years. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much to all the partners who continue to support Guma Mami. So before we close and we take the final photo, I want to say one more time, Biba Guma Mami! Biba Guma Mami! Biba Guma Mami! See, Zeus and Bini DC Hamza told us, and God bless each and every one of you. Again, congratulations on 40 years, and like we said earlier, we hope for another great 40 years more. Thank you. God bless each and every one of you. Let us turn around. Yes. We're going to, we'll ask all the board members.